Hey, Cassie, how you doing? Okay, good idea with the the uh, headphones for the, the shoelaces. I was wondering how you were going to set this up, and I think this is really clever with the guy that needs to go for a jog and let, let, left himself a note. That's good. That's very creative. I, I think it's a great way to start start the narrative, and I think it's a good idea. Um, you know, of course, at this point, you've got the groundwork laid out, right? So you've got, I, I want to go through each frame, but you, basically you've got the groundwork laid, laid out and you kind of alluded to this at the in your last paragraph is that how am I going to build the narrative now? And really, how am I going to connect the pieces, parts to make a really interesting and engaging visual narrative? And as we saw in the example, remember the example with the guy with the big red beard, remember how the cells, each individual cell was connected with uh, his the, the individual hairs from his beard, the red uh, like curls and stuff from his beard, and that was really interesting. And I think that in, in a way, I think it's it's much more interesting to leave the relationship of the different cells of the um, or, or the different uh, kind of events in the linear uh, uh, narrative it, it, to be kind of organic in their flow. Like we saw, you know, that kind of as they flowed through in that particular example, I was talking about did a, I think it was like a clockwise uh, kind of a, a configuration where each story follows the last, but it's organic in that it flows in an organic way as opposed to this kind of a matrix like box one, box two, box three, box four. And I, you know, I think that you did do this just to get your thoughts down and I, I, so I don't necessarily think this is your plan for your narrative, right? But I just want to reiterate how important it is to keep an engaging presentation. Okay, let's go through. So this one here, I, I, I had a little trouble here. And as a matter of fact, to be completely honest with you, I had to read um, what was going on here. because And it, it, as, as you read it, it makes sense. But right now, this, um, this frame right here, it makes sense. But I'm just wondering if we can't like give this guy a, like a little chubby belly or something. Um, you know, you know what I'm saying? So he looks in the mirror and he sees this little chubby belly. And he's looking right at it and he's like, you know, perplexed. And then he's got a note. And I don't know what this is. Is this a, is this a, like tying a, a string to your finger to go running? If it is, it's clever. That works. Then he looks at the note and he's like, all right, yeah, I'm going running. So he grabs his sneakers, finds out one doesn't have the laces. That's smart right there, question mark, explanation point. Hmm, what am I going to do? Aha! Grab my headphones, start to use them as laces, and go for a run. It's a great, it's a, it's a, it's a really good setup. So my only concern is just this area right here, I think I'm going to be clarified just a little. No, I'm not sure if giving him a chubby belly is the, the answer. Or just think about it. Think about how we're going to do that. Um, other than that, I think it's fantastic so far. So great job. Thank you so much for kicking things off here. That's not always the easiest thing to do. So I appreciate that. So any questions, comments at all, please let me know. And um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the next iteration. All right. Great job. Thank you very much.